Hello, I'm here for the interview. Anyata Lee. We've been expecting you. Mr. Daly will be with you shortly. Please take a seat. Mr. Daly will see you now. Mr. Daly, this is Anita Leahy. Anyata. Anyata, please, sit down. Hi, Mr. Daly, nice to meet you. Employment law. I got a first. You can't ask me any impertinent questions, Mr. Daly. Indeed. Not sure we've anything for you here, Anetta. We'd rather somebody with a bit of litigation experience, not somebody fresh out of college. Oh, I know, I know. But I really want to work at this practice. Professor O'Ridden said you were the best. I'm not afraid to put the boot in. And I like your expertise. Immigration, employment law, medical negligence. To be honest, I admire the way you take on the establishment. The more vulnerable members of society need protection from... Patronizing students. I know. Most student activists end up as business leaders or politicians. If you're not a socialist at 21, you have no heart. If you're not a capitalist at 30, no balls. George Bernard Shaw. Tell me, if you're going to take a case on our behalf, what would your priority be? Um, how can I best represent help the client? No, actually, it'll be how much you can get out of this in fees. What if the client was... Not interested, unless we can make a bucket load in fees. You're winding me up. What about all those children who prescribed the wrong drugs? Kids and retards, juries love them. Never settle. And the immigration, I mean, you represent asylum seekers. Money for old rope. Why, well, do you have issues with racism in this country? Of course, you only have to open your eyes. How many non-national friends do you have, Anita? It's Anita. Loads. Well, a few. Great. But how many Africans or Muslims have you had over to your house for dinner? I'm just curious. None yet. I've quite a few friends from Eastern Europe. They grew up in very oppressive regimes. That's not what I asked you. Oh, are they the ones that you met when you were working in the Viking Cafe? I believe I'm very open-minded, Mr. Daly. The more open-minded you are, the more likely it is that your brains are going to fall out. <laughs> I see you're a member of Amnesty. Yes. Gee, what a surprise. I'm sure Mugabe is shitting himself every night he goes to bed. Yes, well, when Amnesty are doing a feature on interrogation, I'll make sure you get a mention, Mr. Daly. It appears that I've come to the wrong practice. I guess we don't share the same value system. Sit down, please. I asked O'Riordan to send me somebody who wouldn't blow over the first gust of wind, and... He recommended you highly. I'm really not interested. Of course. What are you going to do? Join one of those tree hugger firms? Have you been inside one of those firms? Papers all over the floor. Tea bags on the chairs. Harriered incompetence working on cases that'll never get outside their front door. Most of their clients are dead before they get a court hearing. I'm sorry, am I offending your middle class? Ideal of fair play. Why do they ever let women into the legal profession? I'm sorry? So am I. I mean, most of you leave after a couple of years. You spend a week with the tree huggers until your Prada suit is ruined by a tea bag stain. And then you move to a proper firm, like this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you flirt with all our rich clients and then bugger off to have his offspring. Well, he's up shagging the secretary. Fast forward a couple of years and they'll be mighty impressed when you tell them you're a lawyer at the Yummy Mummy Coffee Mornings. I can't believe I'm listening to this. 
Come on, Miss Leahy. Who wants some half-hearted daddy's girl to represent them? There is no daddy for this daddy's girl. Mum's the word. Don't forget to pay my secretary for having your fortune told. I won't let this go. Why? What are you going to do about it? Let me tell you what I'm going to do, Mr. Daly. I'm going to lodge the strongest complaint possible to the Law Society. What law firm will employ you then? You can't talk to me like that. If you knew your employment law, you'd know never to interview someone, particularly a woman, Mr. Daly, without having someone else present. I'll see you in front of the employment tribunal. It's your word against mine. You won't get away with this. Mary! Mary, were you witness to this interview? Yeah, I heard everything. You were very courteous. Miss Leahy, you're right. We're winding you up. Now, just hear me out. That girl who just left, she's a junior doctor who wants to be a surgeon. And her consultant told her in front of her entire class that women are far too emotional for surgery. And to try something a bit less taxing. Now, what would you advise her to do? Lodge a complaint? Jeopardize her career? Is this some kind of sick test? And the asylum seeker? Tell her. Oh, yeah. A genuine asylum seeker walks in here who says he can't return to his village because he was the head of police and he tortured and he murdered the locals. Another client advises that he's crippled with back pain after an accident at work and he'll never work again. Two million euros compensation and a week later you see him playing football in a local park. Another woman walks... I get the picture. See, Miss Lee, if you're going to be a full-time litigator, you'll be offended daily, either by your client or the other party. Can you be tough? Detached? Can you be clinical? And you have to go home every night and completely switch off. Go and think about it. Have a coffee. Come back in half an hour. And if you're going to sue me, it's the Equality Tribunal. Not the employment. Is he like that with everyone, even clients? Yes, and they love him. He's tough, hard-nosed, and the best. If you've got someone banging at your door, do you want a poodle or a Rottweiler? And even that upset doctor. Yes, that's his goddaughter. Tough up. I'll have a think about it. Maybe I'll marry one of his rich clients and become a yummy mummy. That was very close to the bone, James. Do you think she'll take the job? Of course. 